Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Skylander Swap Force. Now even though we beat Chaos, our adventure is still not done yet, because we have two bonus levels that we need to do. One being the Tower of Time, and the other is Sheepwreck Island. So, we're just going to do Tower of Time first, because I think that's the one that came out first before Sheepwreck Island. So, yeah, let's just, um, I'm just going to put this on the portal. Oop, I hit my sensor bar, but that's fine. And, yeah, let's begin. Wowzers. Where did this thing come from? I don't know. It just sort of showed up. Ah, oh, nifty. I bet it's awesome inside. Come on! Wait, are you really thinking of going in there, Flynn? It could be dangerous. Well, anyway, we're, we're gonna go in there anyway be because, um, why not? It's a giant tower. Everything's gonna be fine, right? Right? Oh, man. oh, finally! We thought you were never going to come, Mr. Flynn. And you brought a Skylander. Excellent, excellent. How did you...? Something is very wrong with the Tower of Time. It keeps turning backwards and sending us back to the past. I'm afraid if it's not corrected, we will be stuck in an infinite time loop. Ah, uh, that sounds confusing. Kinda weird. Also confusing. Oh dear. Oh, so that's what you meant. Yeah, this seems like a problem. Psst. Hey. Who's that dashing pilot over there? This can't be good. Losers! You're, You're me. me. I mean. I'm you. Well, I mean, I'm me, but you're me too. This is awesome. No, oh, no, not again. I guess that's all over with now. Who wants enchiladas? You don't understand. This has been going on for days, and it's getting worse. We're being sent to the past more and more often. Wait a minute. It's that villainous pest, Cluck. What's he doing in the Tower of Time? He must be behind this. Citizens of Clock Town, for years I've put up with the constant bell ringing of your annoying clock tower. But no longer. I'm taking over. And I've got this fabulous new suit, courtesy of my friends. Would you like to meet them? <laughs> Those trolls are ruining the town square. Oh, crud, I need to take out the tower. <laughs> yeah, um... Let me just say, this is probably one of my favorite, like, adventure levels in the series. Like, at least, like, visually and everything, it's really cool. And in some way... Oh, derp. ...to get across the bridge and clean their clocks. Okay, so these temporarily freeze time. So, oh... Gosh dang it, why didn't it work? <laughs> I turned it wrong. Stop moving. Oh, crud, dog bark. Uh. Yeah, anyway, um, with these little time things, just thinking of it as, like, um, crud, I'd be spoiling JoJo if I, but everyone knows it though. Think of it as, like, how, um, the stand of the world works with its time freeze, where you can only freeze time for a limited amount. Wait, crud, no, it's like, yeah, just think of it like that, I guess, but just like a bit longer than five seconds. <laughs> yeah. And we're just gonna take down these guys. Also, the reason why I'm Popthorn right now is because he came with the Tower of Time pack. Yeah, it's only fitting that I play as him. You did it. Uh, we have a problem though. The gears to the tower that? door are missing, so we can't get in. You'll need them if we're going to stop Cluck before time itself completely unwinds. We've opened the gate to the steamworks. One of Clark's nests is that way, so you can start looking there. Good luck! So now we're gonna pretty much do an abridged version of Skyland Spires Adventure, where we need to find, like, some things in order to make... ...things so we can fight the big bad guy. Yeah. Luckily, it's a lot shorter than Spires Adventure, like, big time, like... Okay, since I brought up 
Spyro's Adventure. Like, it's always been like one of my. Ooh, wait, can we do this, please? I'd like to see. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, Spyro's Adventure has like always been like the one Sky Learning game. Like, I always liked, except I always felt like it goes on for too long. You know? Okay, then, so I think if we just stand right here. Oh, never mind. We could have just ran back to it. Oh, well. Yeah, now that we have the key, we can advance. But, like, I don't know if this is, like, a common complaint about that game. But I feel like Sparrow's Adventure goes on for, like, way too long. Especially near the end. I'm just like, okay, can this just wrap up? I mean, it's still a decent game, don't get me wrong. It's just like, I don't know, I wish it was just a bit shorter, you know? And there's an elemental gate. We'll do that once this is done. Sweet. Now we got the key, and now I need to switch to a tech Skylander. Uh, do I have anyone nearby? Oh, yes, I have Magna Charge. Sweet. Because, like, um, tech is, like, the only other Skylander option, well, like, element that I do not have on me as well, like, aside from Magna Charge, like, okay, so the whole, my whole plan for, like, the Elemental Gate videos, or, like, no, Elemental, derp, um, for these Adventure Pack episodes is that I was going to use different Skylanders that I didn't use in the main LP, but I guess I'm kind of forced to use Magna Charge here. Yeah, just to show off, like, other Skylanders I didn't use. And okay, then. So I need to go over here. Now this will rise. But is there anything... It looks like there's probably like a legendary treasure over there or something. No, not a legendary treasure. Like like a little main collectible for this. And okay, then. That's annoying. Oh, no, I messed up there. Uh, let's just... Perfect. Activate that. Now we'll see what's up here. Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, it's the toolboxes. Okay, only three of them in this level. Hmm. Okay, then. So let's wait. Use the world. Go over here. And now we're gonna wait again. Perfect. So now we need to make sure we've got our timing right. Perfect. Um... Okay, it's just a bunch of clocks up there, but we're going to have to go up here anyway. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to... We're going to switch. Anyway, okay, I'm going to have to time this just right, so let's just... Yep. Perfect, and now we just need to get on this platform, and we'll get whatever is in the box. Present. Present, Der. Okay, then. Now, what will it be? Come uh, on, let me get something good. Oh, a hat! I kind of think I was going to get that. And it's um, a leprechaun hat. Okay, then. I'll just mash A, so then they'll be thrown back at the entrance. And I'm going to switch to a different Skylander because we've already seen probably enough of manual charge in the main LP. And I want to give someone else some screen time. So who to pick? Oh, I know. Grim Creeper. Like, he's one of my favorite Skylanders in this game to play as, and, like, I really wish I did use him instead of Chop Chop, just to give him some but at the same time, I do like Chop Chop. Like, he's one of my favorite Skylanders, but, like, I probably should use Grim Creeper to show him off, but since I already used Chop Chop quite a bit in the Giants LP, but that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna hit that, and run. Over here. Sweet. Now this platform will... Go up, and there we go. A grave new world. So let's see. New enemy type? Nope, just a fair, like a little color swap of like. Oh, what was the name of those enemies? I'm not sure. Yeah, there's the enemies from the twisty tunnels, but like, um, reskin. Wait, crud! Isn't every enemy in this level kind of like a reskin version of something from? Huh. Yeah, they kind of are like the time trolls here. And they're pretty much just the same as like the other trolls. Like the exact same. Jeez. Oh goodness. Though I think there's a different 
gear golem in this. Yeah, it's like the time gear golem. And uh, I don't really remember that well, huh? Anyway, let's take down these guys. And now, oh wait. Crud, I just realized. I could have just used this to stop time for me to attack them. Because you can do that, because they'll be frozen. Oh, wait. I did, I just remembered um, another new enemy that's going to probably show up in a little bit. Hopefully, but... Um, i got this little puzzle here, so... I'm going to wait for this platform to rise. Thank you. And what is over here? Ah, yes, a dig zone. Okay, then. So I'm going to switch over to Gorilla Drilla. Who honestly isn't one of my favorite Skylanders to play as in this game, mainly because of his range. Because, like, it's not so great, but... Oh, well. He's cool, I guess. I do prefer Stink Bomb over him any day, though. Though I do prefer him over Rubble Rouser. So there's that. Anyway, I'm just gonna get this first crystal. A uh, crystal. Right now. Heck yeah. And I'm also gonna try and get the first gem. Ouch! I forgot that these hit like a gosh dang truck. Okay. That's gonna move on. Wait. Okay, go, go, go. Wait. Come on. I need to jump now. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. That almost hit me. Goodness, it didn't, though. And, okay, there's one. Okay, the two crystals are up, like the, um, two bonus gems are up there, so we're just gonna, ow. Okay, I still have plenty of health, so it should be fine. Just gonna grab this crystal. Very nice. Head up here, grab this gem. Sweet. And now, I think we can, if we just go right, yeah, we'll be able to get the second gem, well, the third gem, derp. And there we go. That is this bonus mi bonus mission complete. Well, the bonus mission's now complete. I had a rough day at school. Well, not really. It kind of just dragged on. I just can't think at the moment. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So now... Oh, we got wings. Oh, there's two of them in this level? Okay, then. That's nice. Wing Sapphire is always nice to get. Okay, then. Now, what's in this house? Oh, yes! Another item. What will it be? Look at me, hat. No, legendary treasure. Ooh. Now, what will this one do? I don't like it matters because of... Ah, plus five armor. Alrighty. Pretty nice. Nice. Okay, then. So, let's go... Let's head out and um, just make some more progress because we only got that like because we're almost there to the first gear and there'll be only two more to go so let's um stop time activate that lever or, like pressure valve I believe yeah and move over here and then I think I just need to stop time at the right moment, so... Dang it. No. Perfect. Sweet. So now we're just gonna... Hopefully hurry across here. Okay. Yeah, we have more than enough time to make it. Sweet. Now we're gonna climb this giant... Beanstalk? Or, or tree. It, it kind of looks like it could easily be a bean... Like... You know, like, like. You know I'm just gonna stop talking here. Okay, it's a giant tree, N nerd, and there's a nest. Why is there a, why is a gear in a nest, and why the heck is there an air? Holy crud, this is Spyro's adventure. I'm making myself look like a big idiot right now for not recognizing that this is just a giant tree. I should have noticed because, you know. Okay. Anyway, let's get on the whole blimp. I'm glad they are still acknowledging that Flynn, before he got the Dreadyacht, you know, is a balloonist. 
you know. Well, you know, Skylander, so. sometimes I think about getting in there and taking on some trolls myself, but I wouldn't want to steal your thunder. Honestly, Flynn, I think you do. You would still do a better job than some of the assistants in, um, <laughs> just need to place it in the door. um, Imaginators, because like, the the Skylanders that were supposed to be helping you in that game didn't do crud. Ex aside from Jetvac, he was like the only one that did anything. Now we just need two more gears to get the door open. Everyone else was a coward. So, you like to go around stealing gears from respectable birds, eh? Well, I've got a little present for you, Skylander. Okay, then. Ah, great, they broke time. Was, was the subtitle really needed right there? Why is it still there? Okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah, the time spell punk can pretty. What, what, what does it do again? Ow. Oh, yeah, it's still active even if time has been stopped. Which is. Pretty cool, I guess. I mean. Ugh, excuse me, jeez. It's still kind of. Meh. Not my favorite spell punk. I don't know which one it is my favorite. Also, I haven't been diving too much into uh, Gorilla Drill's moveset. So, pretty much, for his basic attacks, he has these um, arm drills, which have pretty pathetic reach. I'm not going to lie. Like, ugh. The range is terrible. Now we just need two more gears to get the door open. Okay, Timekeeper. We managed to open the gates to the Windworks. There's another nest over there. Good luck. Okay, then. But, uh, yeah, um, Gorilla Drill's range is pretty pathetic, not gonna lie. But at least he has these, um, monkeys to help make up for that, and he can also make little turrets. So that's cool, I guess. Doesn't change the fact that he's cool. Eh. Honestly, I just think he's just okay. Okay, then, so, um, for this little puzzle, we need just, um... Yeah, stop time at the right moment before the block gets pushed back. And yeah, we'll be able to move on. And oh, crud, another spell punk. What, what you gonna do, pal? You know, it would be pretty cool, now that I think about it, if, enemy, if the enemies could also stop time. Well, and just freeze you in place. I mean, it could be kind of frustrating now that I think about it, but I don't know, it would be pretty interesting. It'd be a battle to see who could stop time first. It'd be cool, I guess. I don't know. Just saying. Anyway, we're just gonna use these monkeys to finish these guys off because once again, gosh dang it, Gorilla Drilla in your pathetic range. Okay, now it's just the spell punk left, and now the spell punk is done. Sweet. And over there is a spin zone, so I'll be able to show off another um, other skyline that I have. And oh, crud, I need to sneeze. <laughs> oh, Lord, why? Okay, then. Now here's a story scroll. You know, it probably wouldn't have been a good idea for me to collect this story scroll and then. I like, turn off my audio while it plays. Well, I see. Yeah. Cubs and gears within the clock tower move in perfect unison to keep all things in Skylands moving forward. Of course, this means that play with a clock face can cause time to move backwards and on the rare and uncomfortable occasion, sideways. Okay, then. Um, I, I don't know how time would be able to move sideways. That just... That would be kind of weird. I gotta say. It probably possible. Wouldn't that just destroy the whole space time? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just trying to think of how the heck that would work. Maybe certain events happen. I don't know. Maybe the whole timeline would get mixed up. 
Oh well. Anyway, we have a spin zone. We're not going to use Free Ranger for this. Instead, we're going to be using Doomstone. Also, uh, he kind of stinks. Not going to lie. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, both of the swap Skylanders in this game, well, Doomstone and Rubble Rouser, were kind of eh, in my opinion. Meanwhile, like, a Scorp was fantastic. And I don't know about Slobber Tooth. Yeah, Tooth. I was thinking, like, Slobber Trap from Trap Team. Weird how they would have two characters have a pretty similar name. Also, I really want to get that gem. Spin zones have always been my least favorite part of this game. Okay. Let's just try and get over here. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Heck yeah! Okay, that's the first one done. Well, first one, yeah. And now on to this part. Okay. Wait, I swear this is similar to another spin zone area. Or like, the layout of this little part right here is similar. I think to the one in either Modelville or Twisted Tunnels, I'm not sure. Huh. Okay then. Let's see, let's get this. Oh, please, 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 okay, good, I'm fine. I'm in the clear, hopefully. And I just go around. Cooperate with me. I'm. <sighs> Is it sad how actual Beyblade games have better controls than this? I should know. I played them. Well, like two of them. Like one on the DS and. <gasps> okay. <sighs> Jeez, that can be stressful. Well, it is stressful. What in the gosh dang heck is this? Okay. But yeah, actual Beyblade games have much better controls than this. Well, more so the one like the Beyblade Metal Fusion game on the DS. Is, that one had pretty decent controls. We will no! Okay, I'm back at this segment. I can do this! I can do this. What I need to do is just take out all of these blocks. Okay, perfect, perfect. And now, what I gotta do, what I gotta do, come on, let me get through. Sweet. I just need to use my super spin to take down these. Come on, one. I just need to get the chaos statue. There we go! That's how it's done. It only took me three tries. Heck. Yeah! Okay, then, so let's open up, up this. Oh, we got the second wing sapphire. Nice! Very nice. Stone Cold Success! I might as well show off Doomstone a little bit before I swap. That's Skylanders. So let's just wait. I at least want to get into one combat segment before I end off the Ooh, we oh wait, there's a There's a treasure chest down there. Okay then. Oh goodness, that hurt that hurt a little. Okay, so let's take down that guy. Sweet and Open up this treasure chest. Okay. I got that guy left. And, oh, hello there. Oh, goodness. Oh, ouch. Okay, then. Uh, how about this instead? <laughs> yeah, that move is actually kind of decent. Just, like, my main complaint with Doomstone is that he's just so... Slow. But anyway, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode right now because, like, I think we're about halfway-ish. Not really. I'm not sure, but, like, 
The videos are like 25 minutes long or something like that. But yeah, anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Skylander Swap Force. In the next episode, we're going to finish off the Tower of Time. So thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day, guys. Bye!